Hi, I'm Jim from the Seattle Aquarium, and I love talking about sharks. Some people think sharks are a little scary, but I think they just need to get to know sharks a little better. There are so many different kinds of sharks, so many different shapes and sizes and patterns, and they all have one thing in common. Well, two things. They all play an important role in keeping the ocean healthy and they could all use a little more love and respect. Did you know there are over 500 different kinds of sharks? We call different kinds of sharks species. With more than 500 different species of sharks swimming around out there, I bet there are quite a few you've never heard of. I mean, there are some wild and strange sharks out there. And by strange, I mean awesome. So let's play a game I like to call Animals Have the Wildest Names. I'll show you the name of a cool, rare, strange shark and see if you can tell if it's a real shark or not. Let's see if I can fool you. Our first candidate comes from the deep sea, but they sound super cozy. It's the Velvet Belly Lantern Shark. So, what do you think? Sound like a real shark? You're right, it is a real shark. We call them velvet bellies because of that black stomach. And we call them lantern sharks because they can create their own light. They use that light to hide from other animals that might want to eat them. We call those predators. Ocean predators that live in the deep sea swim around looking up to see the shadows of smaller fish above them that they might like to snack on. But velvet bellies have special lights on their black belly that erase their shadow and make them very hard to see. Okay, who's next? How about the puff adder shy shark? What do you think? Is it a real shark or something I made up to fool you? Introducing the super adorable puff adder shy shark. Look at those beautiful colors. Those oranges and browns help them blend into the bottom along the rocky reefs of South Africa. But they're not a very big shark, so they also have to worry about predators. When they sense a predator nearby, they roll up into a ball and cover their eyes with their tail. This makes them look more like a coral-covered rock than a shark, but it also looks like they're being kind of shy. Hence the name, Shy Shark. Let's see who's next. Let's try the fangtooth ferret shark. What are you saying? Real shark or fake shark? This one is a totally fake shark. Did I fool you? Don't feel bad if I did. Scientists describe a new species of shark every two weeks. My science friend Paul found eight new sharks in one expedition. So how many did you get right? Don't feel bad if you weren't perfect. There are a lot of cool sharks out there and we're learning about more all the time. When there are a lot of different species of an animal, we call that diversity. Diversity is very important to the health of the ocean. It means there are many different species around to do all the important jobs in an ecosystem. Diversity always makes us stronger. If you want to help sharks, a great way to do it is to tell your friends about all the cool sharks you learned about. Did you learn about a shark that surprised you? Or maybe you made up a name that you wish was a real shark. Put it in the chat and maybe we'll use it on a future episode of Animals Have the Wildest Names. For now, have fun exploring the amazing world of sharks, and we'll see you next time.